everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here with my sixth process video using this Make a Pretty Life kit. And the very first thing I'm doing for this one is actually trimming down this 4x6 photo. It's going to end up being more like a 3x5-ish kind of photo, or 3 and a quarter by 4 and 3 quarters or something. Oops, and I hit my camera there. But I'm, I'm trimming this down. Now this picture was taken roughly in 1990 maybe 91 but I'm thinking more it's like night no it's got to be 91 so it's got to be because I'm looking at how old my little sister is so the girl and with the dark side ponytail in the middle is me and then my two sisters are on the left and then on the right are some of our friends and we used to go to the beach with them every summer and um, this particular picture was when we were at Holden Beach one summer, and this is just us all playing in the sand. So I decided to go ahead and pull out this old picture and make a 12 by 12 layout with it. Now, I don't have any 12 by 12 papers left. Well, I don't, the kit didn't come with any 12 by 12 papers. So I'm actually going through a couple of the 12 by 12 pads in my stash just to kind of come up with something to work with here. So I pulled out a few different ones. We have a couple contenders here, but you're gonna see me narrow this down in just a moment to just one 12 by 12 paper. Now I have all of these scraps left, as you can see. There are a lot of roughly um, two inch strips here, two by six inch strips, and then a whole bunch of smaller ones as well. And I'm just sorting them out by pattern because I'm going to create a couple of banners here. Um, but none of my strips are really long enough for what I want to do. So I'm going to glue or tape them together and make them longer. So you're going to see me do a little bit of um, some paper surgery here for just a moment and once they're actually on the layout you really can't tell that I've done this so it really was kind of an easy way to continue to be able to use the kit without necessarily having a whole lot of supplies left so as you can see it's a longer strip there and you can't even tell and I'll continue to have these scraps I'm going to try to use a few more of them up before I'm done with the kit I think I'm going to make cards or something with them but they're kind of getting to the point to where it's not there's just not a whole lot left so I'm having a difficult not necessarily a difficult but I'm, I'm being challenged to find different ways to use the papers and this was one really good way because the pattern is a repeating pattern it's actually fairly easy to line um, the patterns up so it continues to repeat you just have to pay attention to where the pattern repeats and then just tape it and trim it down to so that they're the exact same size um, and I'm just doing that throughout this um, this process here and I'm only going to do four strips this way I've got the grid pattern looking one it makes me think of like I don't know with all the little small squares it makes me think of like some okay so it really makes me think of that movie pixels or something like that where it's like the pixelation that's what it makes me think of and then I've got these flamingo floats I have the people in the water um, swimming and then just the wave pattern so I'm trimming down this one a little bit I'm going to create uh, cut it into a banner shape and this is going to be my left um, banner here I am going to use that anchor pennant in the middle I just took the wooden dowel out of it and then I am I'm cutting banner strips in the other ones. Now this one was probably unnecessary because it's going to be covered up, but I went ahead and cut it anyway so that it matched the other ones um, because I wasn't entirely sure how, how I was going to make this work. Now I am just gluing the tops of these papers for the moment. I will go back and um, reinforce them later, but for the moment I am just gluing the top because I'm not entirely sure how the rest of this layout is going to go. Now it is going to remain fairly simple. Most of the the um, design here is really in the pattern paper being layered and um, like these banners in the background. That's really the primary focus of this layout. However, I am going to do a little bit of stamping and a little bit of embellish embe embellishments using some of those remaining um, um, die cuts that are in the kit. Now before I actually do that though, I am going to create a few more layers up here with these banners. I took some of the washi tape, I took some of the washi tape that came in the kit as well as some of the washi tape I got from Freckled Fawn here recently, and just back those on a bit of white cardstock so that the colors and patterns really popped a little bit more. Then I'm also taking a bit of the crepe paper that was in the kit, the um, dark blue as well as the aqua blue, and I'm folding those and making them into these little like triangular banners as well. Now the washi tape strips, I just cut them kind of along the tear so that they um, just so you could see the tear as the end versus you know it being a straight edge 
folding that crepe paper to kind of keep it folded shape um, and just reinforcing that. And then I'll go back and trim the tops here in a little bit. And this is where I decided, okay, let me go ahead and just glue all of these um, banners down and then continue to work with it. So I'm really loving the way that this looks. And I am going to take that silver and white twine and actually do it across the top um, up here to kind of keep, kind of be like a, um, not necessarily a place for them all to hang off of, but it kind of is kind of a, I don't know. I don't know how, what I'm trying to say. It's basically an element that kind of brings all of the banners up here together. Now it's definitely not holding them on. I'm just using my tiny attacher here to kind of hold that twine on. It's definitely not holding those banners up at the top, but I think it gives it a nice visual look to make it look like all of the banners are hanging from that. Now every time I use um, the stapler or the tiny attacher, I like to go ahead and just cover up the closures on the back. I think it's, it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind that those enclosures are not going to um, like puncture the layout that's on the opposite side. I'm using this wonderful new alpha font that I got from Felicity Jane to spell out Holden Beach because that's where we were in these photos. And I, it was so easy to line these up because the letters are really nicely... Um, not spaced, but um, the way that the letters are actually like this particular font, it's very even. The um, height and width of each letter is very even, and it really um, works well with all the letters in the alphabet. So it's fairly easy to get them, get them lined up properly. I'm just stamping this on a bit of cardstock that I had here. As you can see, I created and um, used two more scraps of that fish pattern and um, layered it behind my photo just to give my photo a little bit more weight as well. And then I'm, what I'm actually writing or stamping this alpha on is actually um, one of the scraps from the, um, from the kit as well. I figure I might as well use up as much as I possibly can from the kit. So even though I just used the white side, it was um, still from the, the kit itself. When I get near the end, at the very beginning, I'm really trying to conserve all my papers because I don't know what else I'm going to make with it. But when I get near the end, I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I use absolutely as much as possible. So I start using, you know, alternative things, you know, in ways that you may not by flipping them over and using the back side of the papers as well. I wanted if you use a few of the little die cut girls that were in the kit because these, this is a picture of just five, five girls. Um, me and my two sisters as well as two of our friends. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to include a couple of those little die cuts. Then I'm going to use that large... Uh, die cut of the float and use that to put the title of the layout which is Holden Beach right on top of that. Also I have a few of these. I can't remember what they're called but they're like they really remind me of like what you would find in a floral arrangement um, and I'm using a couple of those as well or at least attempting to use a couple of those. We'll, we'll see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these die cuts down putting that right there on that float. And of course I have to adhere my photo down because I haven't done that yet. And it's going to layer right over the top of these banners and include my other little die cut girl down here at the bottom. And then I'm kind of fiddling. I just cut that little sprig apart and used a bit of washi tape to hold it together. And I was going to tape it behind one of the banners to kind of have that sticking out a bit, but it looks a little odd to me. So I'm going to kind of fiddle around with it for a little bit to see if it's worth trying to make work or not. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the extra little bits of my die cut girls and kind of get those um, situated so that they are well adhered and not going to move on us. Now, I didn't know the exact date, as I mentioned at the very beginning, so I am going to roughly put a date. I'm just going to put the year, and I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's 1991 or around that time. So I'm going to put that on a piece of um, white paper as well and layer that at the very top on that anchor. And my ink that I've been using, I always kind of go between a couple of different inks. 
The ink that I'm using right now is a Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I have this, I believe it's a Seven Gypsies um, stamp set, and it's just got a whole bunch of different numbers on it. Um, some of them are very, like, distressed looking, so I don't particularly like those as well. But there is one that's a really nice height and a really nice... Um, solid number that I'm just using to stamp out 1991 here. And this stamp set probably has 20 different fonts for numbers 0 through 9 and so you can use them for a number of different um, you know stamping. And then there was one that also said date so I went ahead and took that out and stamped it as well. So it's just going to be a very simple um, square piece of paper here like a little word strip in, in, in a sense and it's going to layer right there on the very top by the very top of the banner here and this is really going to be the main majority of this layout it's fairly simple when you look at it, not a ton of embellishments, but I really like the impact that all the different patterns and papers um, and really even textures that are at the top of this layout. Just going through making sure everything is adhered and kind of cleaning up my desk as I look at it to see if there's anything else that I want to add. Um, I, this is kind of my process. Sometimes I cut it out, but this is really kind of my process. I'd leave the layout out as I look at it and clean up just to see if there's anything else that might jump out to me and say, hey, this should go on this layout. But for this one, we are complete. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys like that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the process for this one. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And as always, I have my um, resource guide linked in the description box below. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.